Hey, how's it going? It's October, the leaves are falling. It's getting kind of spooky out, if I'm being honest. It's getting a little scary. What else to celebrate the spooky season other than baking something spooky in itself? I want to murder a gourd, specifically the gourd that would be classified as a pumpkin. You guys can say, oh, Ted, oh, that's, that's evil. That's evil, Ted. Don't murder a gourd. The gourds had it coming from the beginning. Let's be honest. For thousands of years, gourds have been the oppressors of human beings. In the early ages, when we were just hunter-gatherers, one of the apex predator at the time was the gargantuan pumpkin. It had long tendrils that would pierce the heart of a hunter-gatherer. It was really horrifying. There's a time-honored tradition of killing one of those prehistoric gourds and turning it into a pie. So essentially, what we're, we're making pumpkin pie. Right here I have laid out all the ingredients I need to make a pumpkin pie, allegedly, okay? I could have missed an ingredient, and chances are I did, because most of the time I do. Here's the, um, they're covered in dirt. I'm gonna need to fix that. I'm not gonna put dirt in my pumpkin pie. So don't go thinking, oh, Ted didn't wash his pumpkins. These are straight off the patch. If these things had consciousness, they'd probably be like, we're screwed, dude. I mean, we all know the drill at this point. Ted's gonna make a food. It's gonna actually turn out sort of well, because he's kind of an expert baker. <laughs> and then you guys are gonna go home and you're gonna tell your parents, you're gonna show your grandmas. That's what I want. I wanna be on good terms with your guys' grandmas. That's, is that a weird thing to say? Lucky for me, I looked through the instructions for this recipe and I discovered one harrowing detail to it. It called for the usage of a piece of equipment I did not even have. Okay, we've got a problem. I've got all the materials I need to make the pumpkin pie. There's one small caveat. The recipe calls for me to use a food processor and little mini brain old me didn't know what that even meant. I thought that that was just a blender. Wrong, it's not a blender. It's a whole nother contraption. So now I need to go buy a food processor to make this recipe. I had to, I had to buy, <laughs> God. I mean, it looks kind of nice. It's Black & Decker. I feel like Black & Decker is good, right? Whatever the case, this will come into play later. So you'll be seeing that and it's gonna be epic. So the ingredients, it calls for one medium sugar pumpkin. The only thing I could find was like the little itty bitty bitch sugar pumpkins. And here's the thing, it calls for one medium sugar pumpkin, but that's a real problem for me because in terms of pumpkins, there's quite a subjective range in which pumpkins can exist in. There are pumpkins that are the size of a little teacup pig. And then there's pumpkins the size of a hippopotamus. I talked to the lady at the farm stand and she said that I could do two or three of these. There's this whole section about how to make a pie crust. And like, yeah, I could make a pie crust. That's something I could do. But then I could also just buy a Keebler crust. <laughs> from Wegmans, which is so much easier. So that's what we did. Canola oil for oiling the pumpkin, one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, half a cup of whipping cream, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Hey, you need two tablespoons of molasses, in which case I got grandma's molasses. You need a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Boom. You need ground ginger, eggs. We always need egg. That's all the ingredients you need to uh, start doing it. For the pumpkin, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. We start with the pumpkins. They will be destroyed. So for starters, we need to remove the stem from the pumpkins. <coughs> that didn't work. I wanted to do a fall activity. I thought it would be fun. Clearly, oh, okay. The taste of blood is already in my mouth. Shirt's coming off. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I need a spoon. Puck, get out of there. You're being evicted. <laughs> oh, okay, this is working out now. Oh, easy. No problem. I'm a, I'm a pumpkin baker. Yeah, it's like it's throwing up. That's kind of funny. This pumpkin has officially been gutted. Easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. Ah, oh wait. I'm stupid. I should wash these pumpkins first. I'm gonna do that. I gotta cut this one up. <laughs> oh, don't turn me into pie. Too late. You're gonna be a pie. Oh, gloopy gloop. That's kind of disgusting. I'm gonna eat this soon. There's like spaghetti in here. 
Who who put spaghetti in this pumpkin? Cut the pumpkin in half and lay the pieces cut side down on a rimmed baking sheet lined with aluminum foil. Okay. How are we going to do that? I think that this counts as a rimmed baking sheet. Oh, I forgot a knife. Okay. I got the knife. We have to cut them in half, I guess. Ugh. That's not cutting as well as I hoped it would. Maybe I start from this angle. Maybe I start from this angle. Uh. Uh. Hey! Uh. Behold, a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil. I have to rub canola oil all over the skin of the pumpkins. This just got a little bit more sensual than I was prepared for. So we're just gonna play this one by ear. <laughs> oh, you like that, Mr. Pumpkin? Wow, this is weird. This is strange. Canola, blessing, a blessing of canola. These things have been thoroughly canoled. Now we have to put this in the oven for an hour. Check that out. Canola oiled. And then I think we do something with the food process. I don't know. Listen, okay, I don't have all the answers here. Oh, fuck. So we've got the pumpkin here, and it appears that on certain aspects of the pumpkin, it is burnt. What? Did I do wrong? Scoop out the pulp from the roasted pumpkin and puree in a food processor until smooth. So you know what that means, baby. Boom! It's time to put. Yeah, it's time to bust out this guy. Oh fuck! Is this gonna? Does this require assembly? I hope this thing is just like two pieces, and then that's it. Because if it's any more, I'm gonna be pissed. This is such a short. This is way too short. I can't do anything with this. There's gotta be instructions, isn't there? Okay, how the hell do I put this thing together? Oh, fuck. Oh, this all makes sense now. And then what? Do I press this? Whoa! Hey. You don't fuck with me. We don't need these anymore, so that's cool. So I think all the chunky stuff, other than the skin, is what they want me to put in. Let me just flip over this gourd. Easy. Look at this. A mere shell of what it used to be. The skins of the fallen. Next step is to, I guess, go for it. That's for sure pumpkin-y. That's fucking pumpkin-y. Not bad. Food processor, not bad. The pumpkin is now in liquid form. And it's steaming. Okay, so now we gotta actually make the filling part. So I gotta add shit, I think, to this food processor. Add the condensed milk. So I need to add this whole thing. Oh, fuck! I don't think I have a can opener. Harrison! Yo. Do we have a can opener? Okay, so it turns out that there's no can opener. Maybe this. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> Maybe a knife? Oh. Don't do this at home, please. We're gonna empty the condensed milk from this knife hole I made. Okay, so that's not gonna be fast enough. Oh God. And then maybe just try to jimmy it that way. Uh, uh. If you have a can opener, use a can opener. This is clearly not the way to do it. Oh yeah. Half a cup of whipping cream. I hope there's not too much liquid in here. It's really getting up there. <laughs> two tablespoons of cornstarch. One, two. Two tablespoons of canola oil. One, two. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Ready? Bah. One teaspoon ground ginger. Gah. Two tablespoons of grandma's molasses. Oh yeah. Whoa, grandma. Oh. God. Three large eggs. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Whew. Unknown amount of salt. In this case, I'm doing maybe like a third-ish teaspoon. Then all that's left to do is uh, hope for the best, really. Oh, it's leaking onto me. I think there's a serious problem. There's, there's so much liquid in this that I, uh, Essentially, it's leaked onto my pants. 
Oh god! Oh no! Oh god, there is pie mix everywhere. Holy crap! I made too much pie! There's so much pie mix! How is there so much? Mm. It tastes pretty good. I don't think I could have fucked this up more. It's probably because I had a baseline misunderstanding of how a food processor worked or something. Okay, so basically we need to pour the filling into the crust. Here we go. I definitely just put way too much in there. That's a ridiculous amount of fluid. Oh no, it's too much. I gotta get some back in. Come on, Ted, you can do this. Clearly there was too much pumpkin used. I used way too much pumpkin, I think. We're just gonna put it in the oven. The only thing left to do now, folks, is just wait until the pie is done and see if we, if how, how much did we fuck it up? The trials and tribulations of today's cooking show will have finally reached its peak because it's time to take that shit out of the oven now. All righty then. It, it definitely looks like one. If someone told me this was a pumpkin pie, I definitely believe it. We're just gonna go for it. It definitely hasn't cooled enough at this point, but I gave it a chance. Boom, let's dive in. That tastes like pumpkin pie. It tastes like what we set out to make. I'm here with John and he's gonna try the pie. Do you like whipped cream? I like. It. Have oh. some at your at your own leisure. The moment of truth. Holy fuck! Is it good? That's fucking really good, dude. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> dude, thank you. You're welcome. This was so good. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. I mean, as we can tell from this video, clearly I am the king of the squash. I am the squash king. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like the video. Want to say something? Comment. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Eat eat more squash, or you will get sick and die. <laughs>